Pence, and I'm here with Scott Bayo. Now, you're going to talk a little bit about this charity that you're backing. It's called the Bailey Bayo Angel Foundation, and it's to help children with metabolic disorders. Nice. Oh, so tell me about what has this uh, nonprofit accomplished so far, and how big do you see it getting? How big do I see it getting? I don't know, as big as it can get, hopefully. Uh, what has we've accomplished? We, the main goal is to bring awareness uh, about uh, metabolic disorders, which are sort of an under-the-radar disease, and to help families. Uh, it's a very expensive, uh, if, so, if your child has a metabolic disorder, it's a very expensive disease to maintain. Sometimes the formula these children need, it's about $1,600 a month, um, and they need special equipment, special wheelchairs, special vans. And so, we try to provide them with all that. So can you break down what it is? Like when I think of a metabolic disorder, I'm thinking like somebody who has like low hemoglobin or something, or, or like what is it What is it kind of entail? It's an odd thing, the metabolic, I understand metabolizing and I understand disorder. Huh. Together I never really understood it. <laughs> Basically, <clears throat> the body can't process protein. Huh. And so what happens is it shoots it to the brain okay. and it causes brain damage. And these children are perfectly normal up until they're about 18 months old, and then they'll have a metabolic crisis, and then they are from that from that moment on they are uh, completely different human being. They're in wheelchairs, they're in hospitals all the time. Uh, a lot of them have cerebral palsy, mental retardation, uh, a whole host of horrible uh, diseases. Uh, but if you but if if you catch it early enough. Um, a lot of states test do a full panel screening, some states don't. And when the child is born, they take a blood sample. Some states, some states do a certain amount of tests, some do more. California does more, other states do more, others do less. If they all had the full panel screening, you would detect it earlier. Oh, and then the child would be have a much different like, quality of life. So is that how you guys honed in instead of so much like helping people living with it, trying to like prevent it more? Is that both. It's both. Guys? Yeah, trying to prevent it. You can't prevent it. You can, or, or you can manage it. Yeah, 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 early detection, detection so yeah. is, a, is a major difference for these kids. Um, yeah, so we try to help the kids that are already caught with it and the ones hopefully we can uh, prevent it. So usually when we talk to people who have nonprofits, somebody near to them has been affected by whatever the cause is. Is that the story with you? Or is this somebody in your family? Or? Yeah, our child, uh, who the, who the foundation is named after was falsely diagnosed with a with a rare metabolic disorder, and uh, yeah, um, it's a long story. I don't want to bore you with, uh, but she was and is perfectly healthy, thank God. And but we give you the realization of what could yeah, have been because we had we had to wait three months to find out that she was healthy, and that's a long oh, three yeah, months. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, you have kids. I don't have kids now, but I could imagine how stressful that would be. So I'm glad that it worked out good in your case, and I'm glad that it provoked you to start a great charity like this. So thank you for coming and yeah, talking man. with us. We appreciate no, thank it. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, it was a pleasure.